biggest problem we have with dating today is that everyone wants to be your parent. likes to think out loud here we take thoughts and we break them down we build them up and we play them out today why don't we talk about dating in the modern age shall we it's getting really difficult it's gotten really difficult I mean just listen to all the people talking about dating nowadays on social media you can hardly go a day without someone come <sighs> I'm not gonna use the word complaint venting about some kind of pain in their experience or that they've heard their friends experience you can hardly go a day without it this is something we should be paying attention to though on an individualistic level or rather just an individual level you'd think it'd be important for that person to learn the reason why they are venting their personal problems out onto social media not only just for healing because there's going to be a certain point when you realize that that's what you're doing and once you realize that you figure okay well I'm not having that experience anymore so what can I do to learn what I need to learn from that place from that experience so that I don't have to deal with that again if I don't like it that much otherwise if I do like it, let me just keep doing it rather than talking about it. That's a, that's what we that's what I think about on an individual level. That's what you want to handle because that's what you bring to your next relationship. But there's more going on than that, you see. Our dating environment has it so that everyone is on this individual level of pain and expressing their pain and how hard it is and where they came from and their friends are going through so much and their, their boyfriend just can't ever seem to get it right or their girlfriend just can't ever seem to get it right or they're not treating me this way and they're not treating me that way so there's all this back and forth and I have more than half a mind to think but you guys enjoy this you enjoy this you enjoy this there's no way so many memes can be shot back and forth but every day about the same topics because if you realize if you look on your social media and you really look you will see the same me complaining about the same type of boyfriend from one friend to another unrelated friend on your same feed so i have more than half a mind to believe that they really enjoy this they really enjoy it's like a it's like a tv drama but hey I'm not here to talk about how they enjoy it. I'm here to talk about why people want to be your parents. What does this have to do with being a parent anyway? Well, it's very simple. Your parents teach you right from wrong. Most of the communication we, we had with our parents came from that point of, oh no, you do it this way, not that way. Or rather, no, don't do it this way. Do it this way. We haven't had communication with our parents where they're just communicating with us because they want to communicate with us. They talk to us when they realize we're going to do something wrong or when they need us to do something right. And that's the most experience, that's the most communication, that's the most connection that we got out of our parents back in the day so when we grow up and I'm sure if you guys heard this when it comes to love however your parents treat you that's what you as a child interpret as love because your your parents won't bother to say oh by the way this is love when I'm doing this this is what it means 
So your brain fills in the blanks. If you're not being physically abused, but you still don't like it, but they do it over and over again, well, this must be love if they do it by repetition. You learn through them and their repetition, and then you adapt it to yourself to find your own character, your ego, your personality, your identity, and then you attribute whatever you need to as love to become a full being of your own and to understand everyone through that world. But then when you grow up, this is what you're doing to other people too. You won't bother to tell them, oh, I love you because I'm doing this thing. You won't tell them that. And they won't tell you that either. So you both are leaving it up to magic, up to fantasy for you both to interpret that love is happening between each other. There's no real connection. There's no real communication, not until they do something wrong. And then you're telling them, oh no, don't do it this way, do it that way. Where do you get that from? You get that from your parents. What do you, how do you interpret you telling someone, no, don't do it this way, do it that way. You interpret that, that as giving love. They interpret that as receiving love as well. There is no space of communication. There is no acknowledgement of, no, this is really who I am and that's why I do this. You guys don't do that. You don't, you don't take the time to back up. You know, most of the time you need to back up and say, oh, by the way, when I do this, this is exactly what it means. Most people assume and want you to presume that this is exactly what something means. This has a really heavy tie in with narcissism. It's not so much the need to be right, but it's more so the lack of acknowledgement that being right fulfills you. So when you find that in a relationship where you get to be right, you feel like you're loving them. But what you're actually doing is taking on the characteristic of a parent correcting a child and therein you love them and they love you. So think about that for a second, everyone. Most of you are in relationships where someone is the parent and someone is the child. And you love each other romantically. Just really take that in, everyone. That is the dynamic we're living in. This is the biggest problem with dating in this modern age. We have a parent-child romantic relationship between unrelated people. This is why energy, for, for anyone who's a naysayer about energy, this is why energy is so important. It's still information. It's still a translation of information communication. It's still an interpretation of your own identity and how you find yourself through the things that you experience. Everyone is having parent-child relationships out here. So think about, think about those times when you interact with each other. Think about the times when cheating is in tone when, when we have relationships where cheating might be a foot. Think about the relationships where you're not happy with your partner. Maybe they're not being enough of a child for you. Maybe they're thinking too much for themselves. Maybe they're not being too much of a parent for you and not actually providing what they think you need. Not only that, so we have a few problems when it comes to this. See, when you're a child, when you realize that you have enough strength as your romantic partner slash parent does, what you do is rebel. That's what you're going to do. You're going to rebel. If you find it in yourself to think you're just as strong as your parent, the romance isn't going to be up there, or rather the romance is going to be built into the fact that you think you're stronger than your parent. Eventually, your relationships become more so of a can I beat my parent? Am I stronger than my parent? Can I provide better than my own parent can provide for me? And eventually you lose sight of the fact that you're even in a romantic relationship at all. So think about these relationships where people get into them one year, three years, five years, seven years, 10 years, and then they're just friends. 
because the the parent child dynamic has become too strong. You see what? And the flip side, before I go further, and the flip side is also think about when a parent thinks they can do better than the child can, because there's always that inkling, there's always that very small bit of information within a person that knows, well, I'm not your caretaker, really. This is just a romantic role I'm fulfilling. But think about when a parent knows that either a child is strong enough or that they're smarter than this parent, they're more intelligent, they're more well-off and stable and mature than this, than this child. You, you think to do whatever you want with that child. That's where the abuse would come from in a relationship because you think you own that person because you're so much more well off. So what we're missing overall in modern relationships are two people willing to communicate their love before they engage in that love. We need less people assuming that they know what comes with the experience of being themselves with someone in their presence. We need more communication about who it is that you are when you're dating someone. The reason why communication is so important is because you don't want the blanks to be filled in by imagination and fantasy. You're going to get a battle when you deal with someone who doesn't want to handle their own end of the bargain. But that is exactly the information that you need before you get into these relationships with people who want you to be their parent or who want you to be the child. If you didn't know that this is what's even happening, we're not even gonna say that this doesn't work because there are relationships out there that, that have worked and they're working right now. But they're not entirely as functional as a relationship where two people are communicating that love and ensuring that what came out of their mouth is how their body follows. You can get the very same results. You can get the very same power and understanding and connection and conversation and communication. You can get the best out of your relationship with someone if you can communicate what it is that you're bringing into a relationship. This is more than just knowing what you bring to the table. What are you really willing to refuse within yourself in a relationship, in a romantic relationship? that you don't want the other person to have to deal with? What are you willing to hold up on your end of the bargain in this relationship? What are you not willing to pass off to someone else just because your parent treated you the way that they did? What are you willing to hold and keep within yourself to make you a better person so that this person can, you, the person in the relationship with you can experience you as that better person? What are you willing to keep within yourself and to shine the light on to grow, to be the most amazing lover you have ever given to the world and given to yourself as well. That's going to be the episode, the biggest problem in the dating world. All those parent-child relationships that are going on out there, those energetic, parent-child relationship, hey, look, if you're watching this video and it makes you uncomfortable, that you realize that this is the kind of thing that's actually happening in your world, well, it's time to have a conversation, isn't it? I'm a here that likes to think out loud. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, The Relationship Theory. Facebook, I have a page, The Relationship Theory. And give this video a like. Enjoy the day.